I'm Anil Kumar. Here is a practice review question on transformation of polynomials. The question is, state the parent function that must be transformed to create the graph of each of the following functions. Then describe the transformations that must be applied to the parent function. So we are given two functions here. The first one is y equals to 3 over 2x cubed minus 1. The next one is y equals to minus half times 2x minus 1 to the power of 4 minus 1. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now first let's write down the parent function. Right? So let's write down the parent function first. Parent function in this case is x cube, cubic function, right? So x cube and in part b is x to the power of 4. And now we'll describe the transformations. For part A, there are two transformations. One is vertical stretch. Since 3 over 2 is 1.5 greater than 1, so, so the first one here is, there are two indeed. So the first one here is vertical stretch. By a factor of 3 over 2. You write 1.5 also, right, by a factor of 3 over 2. And the second one is, it is translated up by one unit, right? So vertical translation. So these are the two transformations for the first function. Now let's look into the second function. Now here it is important to rearrange the term in the bracket so that we get the clear picture of the function itself. We'll factor out 2 and I use square brackets x minus half to the power of 4 minus 1, right? Now all the transformations are absolutely clear. So this is for reflection on x-axis, half vertical compression by a factor of half, two horizontal compression by a factor of half, everything inside is horizontal, right? Half unit to the right, that is horizontal translation, one unit up is vertical, right? So in this case, let's write down all these uh, transformations one by one okay so this was for the first one and now we can begin from left to right so first is reflection on x-axis that is a vertical reflection outside terms are vertical right half vertical stretch by a factor of, I should have written compression of half, let me correct it, vertical compression, okay, by a factor of half, so it becomes wider. And then we have horizontal compression. by a factor of 1 over that term, by a factor of 2, 1 over 2, right? So half, and then we have, it moves half unit, translates half unit, right? And then it translates 1 unit down. Okay, so this all happens to the parent function x cubed. So the parent functions in part b is x cubed. So these are the transformations which take place. It is important to note that the term inside should be factored to exactly get horizontal translation. Otherwise, you could make this mistake. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.